Greetings Get Right Gang and welcome to day 89 of my weight loss journey with a new weight of 469.9 pounds, a three pound gain since yesterday and a total of 76 pounds loss. I admit I did have a pretty big protein rich meal yesterday. I didn't actually record it, but I had a big bowl of beef, uh, about 10 eggs and two cans of tomatoes for about 2000 calories. So the calories were still not crazy high, but it did contribute to a little bit of a weight what gain. Today's day? It's Monday, the 1st of April, 2024. Not a problem just a three pound gain and it will be gone very very soon anywho today was my legs and shoulders day my least favorite day of all is the legs because i'm a big dude and i'm already carrying a ton of weight anyway but it was time for legs day so i started off with my compound lift which was the squat still having a little bit of a hard time with the squat because as i just said i'm already carrying a ton of weight so i didn't put too much weight on here uh started off with 60 kilos and even after this set i actually made the the barbell lighter and made it only 40 kilos because i'm still trying to get my technique a little bit better and for me to squat at this size is tough already i had a feeling that my legs might not be that strong at this point but they're actually really strong which i'll show you later so even though my squat is not very good and then you probably expect it to be much higher i'm going to show you later that my leg strength is actually really really strong it's just that i'm such a heavyweight that squats are really hard at this point so started off with just 60 kilos and went down to 40 in further reps but that should get better over time anywho after i did my squat as i said it's legs and shoulders day so i did a shoulder workout next up was a military press so i put two plates on each side just a total of 40 kilos there and i eventually put this one up as well so my shoulders were doing pretty good so i eventually went up to 50 kilos but i think this is going to really help to get those bolder shoulders get that aesthetic physique over time so yep just putting in some work on the shoulders doing some military presses and I think I got around eight to 10 reps of that and realized it was kind of easy. So I eventually put the weight up after that. After that, I did some work on my calves. For those who are, we wear shorts. This is a really good workout. You can get some really nice looking calves. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of these, just getting some work on the calves here, getting a good stretch. I think I put the weight up as well on this one reasonably hard still but it's still a good workout to get so this is the calf workout next i went back to my shoulders and as you can see i'm already busting a sweat <laughs> even though this is right at the start of my workout and i did go to the gym at around 2 a.m on this day around 2 30 a.m so it's nice and empty i think there was about four people that walked in the whole time i was there so i quite like the fact that i can have a nice workout and another reason I like to go early, not just for the fact that I can film without any issues, but also the fact that people don't move my weights around and readjust the machines that I use. So if you are someone that goes to the gym or is thinking about going to the gym and have a 24 hour gym next to you, something to consider, especially if you take weight training really seriously, is that if you do weight train and you do go when there's not many people there, you don't have people like moving the weights around and readjusting the machines to their suiting so you can get a nice smooth workout without having to have people interfering with it too much which is not a major deal but it is just something to consider anyway just working on some shoulders here before this i did some shoulder press with the dumbbells and here i'm doing some lateral raises with some much lighter dumbbells even though these dumbbells are really light, don't get it twisted. This is quite a difficult workout and it's very hard to get heavy weights on this. So yeah, just working out those lats. And just so you know, guys, this is probably gonna be the last long video I do for quite some time because over the next week, I've got a training course I'm gonna be on for my real life job. So I'm gonna just be doing short videos for the next week. So unfortunately, you won't hear much from me. I might not even have time to edit anything, 
but I'm just being transparent and letting you know that if you just see 20 second clips from me, that's the best I can do because I'm going to have a really busy schedule over the next week until literally next week, Monday. So sorry about that, but not much I can do about it. And then once that was done, I went to the leg press machine. As you saw at the start, my squat is not very good. I can only get 60 kilos, but I can get a lot of weight on this leg press machine. So I'm glad to know that my legs are actually fine in terms of strength. It's just that I have so much weight that it makes my squat difficult. Then I went to this leg raise machine and this works more of the front thigh instead of the rear thigh. So got some reps on this one. Just putting in the work, getting a good stretch. And I think for big people it's quite important or tall people it's quite important to get a full range of motion in particular because there's a much bigger muscle than if I was say a foot shorter. Even though of course it's important for everybody, everybody, but in particular, if you're a tall person, getting a full range of motion is really important to get a full extension of that muscle. So after that, I did a rear thigh leg extension and this works more of the inside back thigh instead of the front. This one is particularly hard as well. <laughs> it's also quite hard to get adjusted properly properly because of the machine itself but did the best i could i still managed to get a pretty decent stretch on there and then that was done and after all of my exercises i then did some cardio for about another 30 minutes did a rotation between the treadmill and the exercise bike and the skiing machine so since the gym was nice and empty i decided to set up my camera and get some footage of me on the treadmill here I was on there for about 20 minutes and here as you can see I've got a full stack of weight on the leg press machine as I said to you earlier my legs are very very strong even though this is only my second time doing legs since being back in the gym I was quite surprised and a little bit disappointed actually to see that I could already push the full stack of weight on this leg press machine a little bit disappointed because to be able to do this already after only two sessions means that there's nowhere there's no more room to grow so i don't want to be this strong already in this gym because it means that i'm already gonna have to start thinking about looking at better gyms more of a bodybuilding type gym in the near future but even though this was difficult i still managed to get i think about 12 reps on a full stack of weight so that just shows that my legs are really strong even though my squat is terrible my legs are just fine but sadly there's no way else to improve on this so i'm gonna have to think about what to do about that in the near future and once all my exercises were done i showed my full body again just showing the amount of effort i put in almost soaked head to toe with my shirt but either way guys Thank you so much for the, all of the love and support. I really do appreciate it. Get Rat Gang, we're taking over this year. I'm gonna keep doing my part and I appreciate each and every one of you. So let's keep pushing and of course, let's get wrecked.